Take my phone. This is why. What the? Hey, man, that's my son. Quit being a man. Give me your hand. Quit being a. Hey gang, I have a Tuesday morning editorial for you. That's right, I'm going to bring it to you now. For all of you that say, well, if it was a white guy, we'd never even heard about the story. Well, today you will, because a white man was arrested by two police officers and it was not subtle. <clears throat> not in the least. So I'm going to put a link to this story in the description box below. I'm also going to put a link to a story done by BBC on why James Smith will never call the police again or never dial 911 again. He's the one that called the police because the front door to At Tatiana Jefferson's home was open. He was worried about her. Officer Dean prowling around the bedroom window, never identified himself as a police officer, just shot her in the bedroom through the bedroom window because she had a gun. Well, she had a gun because someone was outside prowling her bedroom window. If you're really confused, read the story. The link is down below. It's a very interesting read. It's really long. It also talks about a few other people that have been abused by the police and why James Smith, the neighbor, said, I'll never call the police again. I don't trust them. <clears throat> don't blame you, Jim. Now let's get to the actual story. Thank you, Harold Bulletin, for this story. Coming out of Anderson, Indiana. A video shot two days after the city of Anderson announced that it had banned choke holds by its police force shows an officer applying you said it a choke hold during an arrest the edited 42 second video shows two anderson police department officers arresting spencer dakota nice 21 on saturday evening the anderson police department later charged nice with resisting arrest they always do the officers have been suspended with pay pending the outcome of an investigation in a joint statement Monday evening, Mayor Thomas Broderick Jr. and Police Chief Jake Brown said that Nice had been arrested for suspicious behavior after an officer heard gunshots while he was patrolling about 9 p.m. in the 3000 block of Noble Street. In the video, the officer Brandon Reynolds is standing behind Nice. Now, what gets me, I'm going to take a quick uh, sidebar here for you guys. Uh, he was arrested for suspicious behavior. That's their... They're ace in the hole. They're ace up the sleeve. They're, uh, what is it, the go-to. You're very suspicious. Suspicion is not a crime as far as I understand. Is suspicion a crime? Is that a felony or a misdemeanor? And when you have a camera and the cops say, you're acting very suspicious with that camera, Penal Code 148 subsection G says, videography and photography in public shall not be deemed a suspicious activity by themselves or in and of themselves uh that was of course not a not a direct quote but it's that's what about what it says that you know suspicious activity it's just not a crime suddenly reynolds reaches over nice's shoulder and squeezes the smaller man's neck between his forearm and bicep twisting nice around and taking him taking him to the pavement where another officer ashley gravely helps restrain him Reynolds, as shown in the video, pushes with a hand on the back of Nice's neck, forcing his face into the pavement. Both officers use their knees, one in the middle of Nice's back and one pressing against his legs as they twist Nice's arms behind his back to handcuff him. Nice doesn't appear in any portion of the video to resist the arrest. For real? Yeah. Take my phone. Take my phone. Take my phone. Why... What the? Hey, man, that's my son. Quit being a <laughs> man. Give me your hand. Quit being a <laughs> In fact, on Monday, Nice was quoted as saying, I was surprised. It came out of nowhere. It happened so fast. After watching a Facebook post of the video, Anderson Police Department Chief Jake Brown placed Reynolds and Gravely on paid administrative vacation, I'm sorry, leave, Monday, pending a full investigation of the incident, according to the joint statement. Now, a statement from the police department reads, while we are still in the review process of our policies and procedures, we have determined that we are banning the use of chokeholds by police to restrain or control a suspect. What they'll do to justify it is say, well, it wasn't a chokehold, it was a stranglehold. See, there's a difference. That was a stranglehold, not a chokehold. See, that's how they're going to justify it. Watch this. Not here, but watch. As, as time comes, they're going to say, well, it was a stranglehold. So it kind of was in policy. 
But according to the joint statement released Monday evening, that was yesterday, the Saturday arrest of Nice occurred when Reynolds, who had heard what he believed were gunshots, listen to this, saw Nice and three other people walking in the area. Reynolds saw Nice throw something black up against the side of a factory warehouse, according to the joint statement. After Gravely arrived to assist Reynolds in taking Nice into custody, Nice resisted arrest and was taken to the ground by Reynolds. The statement reads, doesn't appear that he was resisting arrest. Looks like he was just standing there with his hands behind his back. And he might have been tensing up, but he wasn't resisting arrest. If a cop doesn't know how to do a control hold and torque that wrist, then he needs to be retrained. He's a poor officer. The mayor and police chief acknowledged that Reynolds appeared to violate the department's ban on chokeholds. Now, they say appeared to violate. That way they can come back and go, okay, well, it was, it was a stranglehold. Yeah, so it really didn't, you know, it appeared at first, but we saw. Jake Brown could seek additional disciplinary action against Officer Reynolds, depending on the outcome of the investigation. The police chief and the mayor did not say whether the probe would be conducted by the Anderson Police Department or an outside police agency. <clears throat> Evidence will be submitted to the city's Board of Public Safety, which would conduct a hearing and give approval for any discipline greater than a five-day suspension, according to the statement. Bad baby. There you go. That's what he's going to get. Bad baby. It's going to be justified, guys, or he'll get a five-day suspension. Wow, five days, no pay. Bad baby. Do I need to do that again? Guys, I want to know what you think in the comment section below. There's a lot more to it, a lot more that I didn't read. The link is down below if you want to just sit back and with your coffee and read the whole thing. Description box below. Click it. There's also a really good story about a Tatiana, a Tatiana Jefferson and her murder by Officer Dean. That's in a link down below. Thank you guys for watching on this Tuesday. Community Leo Watch, watching Leos. That's law enforcement officers from coast to coast and keeping them accountable. And for all of you that don't like this right here or like what I do, stop condoning and justifying bad police behavior. Happy Tuesday, guys. More editorials coming later this week. I think I'm done. I think I'm going to go get a cup of coffee.